Welcome back everybody, this is Star, and she is 24 weeks old. Right now she's obeying me just because I have bacon strips in my hand. You want the bacon strip now, don't you? Yeah, she wants it. Ignore that. Anyways. Good girl. Get little treats. This is Star, 24 weeks old. As my father would say, she is five and a half months old. So yeah, she is actually being calm just because I have treats in my hand. So... I'm gonna have to do this for the video. This is pretty much the only time where I could actually spoil her for her to listen. But, and you can tell that we got her bed back. So, yeah, nothing much has changed for Star really. Is that she's getting bigger and bigger, and right now she looks small, honestly, in the time frame of her growth, because we've been feeding her the science diet. That's the type of dog food. Um, basically given to dogs that are growing and apparently if you give them the wrong food they would grow too fast and their bone structure would be out of place so they could have like a hunchback because the um, bone growth was too fast for their body to adapt to this is why her paws are big that's pretty much the main reason why her paws are big and that if she goes too fast then she will probably have problems and dogs or at least German Shepherds are notorious to have hip problems. But we've been taking care of her diet. We don't give her much table scraps. Even if we do, we give her at least the uh, uh, proper food like oranges or vegetables. We can't give her. I don't. I don't. I, don't remember, I think it's onions that we are not allowed to give dogs. Onions are worse than chocolate. So it's the type of food you have to be careful what food you actually give them. Especially when it comes to a dog. They can't eat chocolate and they can't eat onions apparently. I have to ask why, but other than that, she is one energetic puppy because she actually scared my father nearly to death. More or less that uh, they went out around like five or six miles out of town. And we have a canal that runs through the um, outskirts of the city. And my father was talking to his friend. And not, not, he wasn't paying attention, but he, call, he called out Star to see where she's at because he lets uh, Star run around and get her exercise. And that she, he couldn't find her, couldn't find Star. He calls out her name multiple times, and then Star just comes out of the canal drenched in water. And the scary part was is that the canal itself is notorious for people drowning. It has three, three different currents. A, a first layer current that goes um, slow direction on the the second current is a below the first current which goes completely fast like it goes it's faster and the third current is below the second current obviously and it goes slow again so thing is if you were to get pulled under you're you're not going to come out if you're very if you're too tired to try, uh, try to get out because if, if you swim on the first current and you get tired and you drag your feet, the second current will pull you under and then you ultimately will drown. So this is why the canal is so dangerous that it's not advised to actually go um, anywhere near it. But people are idiots at times, especially when they are running away from authorities. It's sad, but it's true. But the thing is, she actually swam in it. She actually swam at the canal. And apparently she was a strong swimmer because she didn't get pulled under. She could have had been pulled under, but yeah, this dog is crazy. If, if, I, would, if I was there, I would be scared to death to see um, to think that she could have died. You want your treat now, don't you? I have the last treat. You gotta be wait. You gotta be patient. You're gonna wait. I already gave you. I already gave you five pieces. My God, that face. Just look at her face. It's so cute. I can't really tell from uh, um, from my perspective. She looks nice. From the uh, camera's perspective, not so nice. But look how big she's gone. We got her bed back. I don't know why, but we did. You really want your treat? You're not gonna get it if you whine. That's the thing. I'm not gonna give it to you if you whine. And that's another thing. There's a habit for this puppy for her to whine to get our attention. So. Here's a tip. If they start whining and you know what they're whining about, ignore them. 
Unless it was to the bathroom, at least, because then you don't want to mess in the house. But if they whine so they can get something out of you, don't give them anything. Just completely ignore them. So t until they actually start doing something, they'll, pro they'll know not to whine for stuff. Because if they whine and you give them something because of that whine, they're going to keep doing it. It's like, it's like children, really. Because if, yeah, you guys know. You guys know what you get out of your parents and how far you can get. So, that's another tip for you. But, Star, 24 weeks old. She's a daredevil. She's a strong swimmer because she loves water. I'm going to videotape one of her times of her just splashing um, the bucket around. Because it, it, it was funny. One time I saw her, but we told her no. I got I actually got angry at her because I didn't want her to go in that habit. But for one time, I'm going to probably record her splashing the bucket because... She, she likes it, but at the same time, yeah, we won't want her to get to that habit. So, probably just this one time only, and then we'll, and not do it again. Because she actually, she actually listened to my father at the dog park, because there, the, all the dogs were playing in the puddle, and Star, like, walked towards the puddle. She was about to, she was about to jump in it, but my father said no. And when my father said no, she stopped. She immediately stopped and turned around and went back. And all the other people at the dog park were impressed that she actually listened. She's a good listener. But at times, she just she ignores us. But that's one of the things about her. It's like having a child. I'm not going to give it to you if you want. You need to be quiet. <laughs> sound, sound mean, but... That's, that's the kind of thing of parenting. That... It's one of the things you have to do when you, once you grow up. If you get a child, you may have to be struck with them, but at least know how they are and what they do. And I don't know, I don't know what else to say, really. Because it's already seven minutes in. But, you can tell, she's really big. I like her just the way she is, so far. She's going to go twice, or maybe twice and a half big. But, until then, it's, it's going to be the video vlog for now. Come. Come. Down. You heard me. Good girl. So, nothing else to be said here now. This is Star, being 24 weeks old. Have a nice day, everybody. And we will see you in the next video. Aren't you sweet? Goodbye, everybody.